All right, time to take these signs and set them up because we're having a garage sale this morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, setting up here. Got lots of stuff I'm bringing out today, so as I start setting up areas here, we're we'll bringing more stuff out of the sheds and everything like that. But this is kind of what we got going on at the moment. Just tables, this is like the media, jewelry, tools. So I marked them, started to get a little organized here. Sockets, 50 cents each, or five for two bucks. Tools, hand tools, got some stuff. Um, it looks like somebody's popping in over here, so I'm still loading up, and uh, then we'll make our first sale today. Okay. All right, I just had an explosion of sales. Three hours have gone by. Um, I'm just bringing stuff out, setting stuff up. I didn't give you guys a grand tour, but uh, I'm well over $100 at this point. Let me guys give you a tour of what's going on here, and I'll go over everything, and hopefully we get some more buyers here. Good morning, how are you? <laughs> Thank you, bud, I appreciate it. You want a little box for it? Yeah, please. All right, let me find you one. Is it? Yeah. That's what I need, it, it does leather, suede, and if you have white shoes, it makes your shoes look bright white. Those shoes fitting you, sir? I'm working at it. All right. All right, so here's what we have today. We've got this miscellaneous stuff, camera gear, records. Sold a lot of tooling today. I sold a propane double burner for 25. I got posters here, DVD players, laptops, cameras, Walkmans. Uh, this is the movie section here. We got rings, jewelry. I marked all these DVDs, 50 cents each or five for two bucks. I sold probably 10 of these so far today. Uh, video games, two hours each, or three for five. Um, Hyper Tough, you might have seen this in another video. Um, I had a bunch of those twisty flashlights, and I, I sold the whole box of them to a guy for about 20 bucks. I paid, it, what was it, a dollar each for those? So I, I took $9 into 20, so double my money. Uh, tools are selling like hotcakes. Um, I did have somebody steal some sockets, though, which it is what it is. He just I watched him put in his pocket, and then he I got really busy, and I didn't see that he left. <laughs> um, we got some knickknacks here. As you can see, sorry about the shadows, but knickknacks there, more knickknacks. Uh, sold three or four Coca-Cola coffee mugs for a dollar each. Uh, a bunch of, like, ribbons. Got some glassware here. You probably see a lot of this stuff looks familiar. Uh, toys, stuffed plush. Um, got this stuff here. Shoes. I sold four pairs of shoes for four dollars a piece. Uh, the back lot here. Got jackets and just a bunch of stuff here. Um, I'm really excited so far today. It's been rocking and rolling. Um, I got my trailer right here. So my trailer's here. I think I've got it emptied out. Let's go take a look. Um, yeah, I just got these two headboards still that came out of uh, the Trashola. But what I'm doing here is just grabbing things. I pulled some stuff out. I got all this here. Um, I mean, I've got so much stuff that's not even funny anymore. <laughs> I got So I'm going through these at the moment. And then I haven't even hit what's in the shed. And then obviously um, I got more stuff here. So I'm going to be open until 4 or 5, just messing around, cleaning up, and uh, organizing it. But once I'm done with everything, you know, this is going to be my source here where I'm going to dump it back in here. This is where all the stuff's going to go into. And then as I start to fill this thing up, that's when I'm going to hit a flea market. Because um, I started putting stuff in here yesterday, and I was like, man, I could put a lot of stuff in here. And I barely had anything in there to really make a good trip to the flea. So we're going to be out here for a while selling some junkage. And um, hopefully it becomes a good day. There was uh, somebody interested in this bike. 
uh, for a hundred. It's a nice Scott bike here. Um, it's actually in excellent condition. It does have a little flaw here. This plastic piece here is chipped. But other than that, it's it's a solid bike. So I've had three or four people interested in it. We'll see if they come back and uh, and, and, and snag her up. But um, so far today's results have been very pleasing. It's a thumbs up so far. So let's keep it rolling. Another good little rush. I sold the leather jacket that came out of the the trash. I got six bucks for that thing. Um, I sold seven dollars worth of DVDs, the loose ones. Somebody grabbed the Disney's. They knew what they were looking for. What else? Uh, a couple cords and cables. I sold a jumper cable. I sold some piece of glassware over there. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, we're still rocking and rolling over here at the yard sale. Yeah, baby. Things have slowed down here. Probably had three or four customers, but I've been working on this here and I just got done with it. Going through a box of cables and cords and some remote controls. Um, this business is all just about an organization, man. And all the stuff that you see here that I'm selling is storage unit junk. Um, <laughs> it's not junk, but I mean, people... People buy this stuff, you know, for the right price point. So, clean up this canister set here. I've sold probably $20 worth of stuff since. Um, added this out here. Some phone charger cables, speaker wires, RCAs. Um, still got a lot. Still got a lot of stuff out here. And um, yeah, just cruising along here. Just a gorgeous day here for a sale. And uh, one guy just stopped by and he was like, hey, weren't you the guy selling all those books a couple years ago? I said, yeah. He goes, what happened to all those? I said, you don't even want to know. <laughs> there was a ton of them. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep moving along here and uh, making it happen. What else you listen to? Anything. This is mostly like country and. Yeah, there's a lot of country and classical in there. Bee Gees. All right, looks like it's uh, it's finally died off here. Um, I was getting some work done in the garage and organizing some of this stuff here. I still got a lot of stuff. It's like always, man. I mean, <laughs> just how it is out here. It's just nonstop with. Uh, with the stuff, I mean, today was a really, really good day, but I just have a lot of stuff left over, you know? So quite a bit of stuff, close to about $250 worth of stuff today, believe it or not, and um, a lot of it was 25 cents, 50 cents, dollar, nothing, nothing really freaking crazy. Uh, the bike still here. I got offers of 20 bucks for it. I'm not selling a bike for $20. So, uh, yeah, check this out. This came out of that one big storage unit. I don't know. Some kind of horn for something. Maybe you can't sell them. Maybe you can, but I'm going to. So, yeah. Got some shoes left. Maybe they decided to bring some clothing out for me to sell. And, uh, so now the fun part is to put all this stuff away. I mean, come on, man. Disney with new at tags? <laughs> Bumblebee? Somebody wanted to give me five dollars for this today. I said no. I'm gonna hold on to that. I think I can get fifteen dollars for it. Yeah, we got what do we got here? Hallmark Jingle Bear. Just a bunch of stuff, man. Nail polish. Did pretty well with these last time. Some of these are probably no good. I can take a look at them. But yeah. Hey! I even got a coach purse which I'm almost 99% certain it's legit. I'm going to lose Claiborne. So uh, that'll do it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you watching today's video, that's for sure. Got to load up the stuff in the trailer. I got all this stuff over here. Didn't even get a chance to bring that out today. That's a shame. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Go out there, be great. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. Vlog. Over.
packaging up stuff to put it in the trailer, I had a gentleman that came by a second time. You might have saw him earlier in the video. He was in that golf cart, and he just dropped 150 bucks uh, on stuff. He bought one of the little portable uh, Bluetooth stereo things that I picked up at Walmart. He paid $25 for that. He bought one of the record players I had that came out of a storage unit. It was one of those all-in-ones with a cassette player and CD player. He paid 75 for that. Uh, he bought some adult videos. He asked me, he's like, do you have any of that? I said, actually, I do. Um, I knew someday, you know, I'd just been hoarding them from units. And uh, he paid up for that. And let me just say this, guys. Um, he asked me something that I'm not going to go into today's video. But if you ever catch me doing a live Q&A, ask me <laughs> about this gentleman. It was a trip, no doubt. Um, you're looking at here on the screen a flyer I'm getting ready to put out around town. Uh, to help my buddy Rick starting a new adventure. Something actually we've been doing for a while. Just haven't shared it here on YouTube. But uh, yeah, so today's total was just over $400. Pretty epic for a garage sale. Guys, go out there and make it happen. Honestly, now's the time. Anything is possible. Be great.